Hey everybody, my name is Carmen Shank and I'm the Tiny House Foodie and I'm here today to talk to you about my new, brand new book. Now you can see that it's there on the wall behind me and that was there to remind me that this day would come. The launch day for this book would finally come and here we are. This is it. This is the day. I am very, very happy about this. Now I want to talk to you about this cover because this is, there's such a story <laughs> and I'm so glad the designer decided to use this picture. Uh, it, I went to the store. Oh, I should back up a little bit. I don't know if you've seen this book, The Big Tiny, a built it myself memoir by D. Williams. What do you notice? <laughs> do you notice anything? That's the same house. This is the house that I designed this off of. Okay, and I gave it shutters. I thought, you know, that upstairs window needed needed shutters. But anyway, so I came home with all of my fruits and vegetables, put them on the kitchen counter over here, started to cut and to carve and to create this little house. This is an idea I'd had in the middle of the night one night. And I was frustrated. It was not going very well. <laughs> the things wouldn't stay where I put them and I was just having a hard time of it. Xavier walks in the door and I showed him what I was trying to do and he started pitching in. And you can see these little, I couldn't get the, um, the posts on the porch to work right and so he carved these little carrot things at the top and bottom of each of these that made it possible for those posts to stay where they're, <laughs> they're supposed to be. And also you can see that the, um, the carrots on the roof had started to warp a little bit because they were drying out a little bit. So this note to self, if you're making a tiny house from food, you need to work quickly because <laughs> the uh, carrot will warp. Uh, it, so Xavier and I got busy on working on it together and when he pitched in then suddenly it started to work like it like I wanted it to and I got the I got everything put together this is lettuce from the garden this is kale from the garden and this is mint from the garden of course I don't have a broccoli plant but we've got carrots and blueberries and that beautiful red cabbage and carrots and the pineapple but I wanted to point out this adorable little doggy because this is one of my favorite things about it. I turned around and Xavier was carving a radish and before long he had carved this little dog and the tail of the radish is the tail of the doggy and so that is to represent our little dog Ella and I am so tickled by that and again I'm just so pleased the designer decided to use that on the cover of my book. Also, she really outdid herself with, this, with the codes on the back. This is the um, ISBN number and the price tag, and there's a QR code, and that's my handy dandy publisher. They are the best ever, and I have appreciated them so much. So here it is. I love it. I am very happy with it. Now, when you go on Amazon and buy a used copy, you are getting the festival copy. Xavier and I have traveled around to lots and lots of different tiny house festivals and expos, and we've been selling the festival copy for quite some time. In book parlance, this is an advanced reader copy or an ARC. Okay, so there are a few little bitty changes between that copy and this copy, and you'll be able to see there's a real difference. This one says, the new one says, an official Pulpwood Queens book club selection. The old one says festival copy, okay? So when you purchase the new one on Amazon, this is the book you'll get. It has two additional chapters at the very end, because I, not chapters, paragraphs, paragraphs at the end, because I finally figured out how to finish the book. <laughs> and I want to point out page 93, because this is something that really matters to me. This is a green book, okay? So my name is right here, and when you get the book, you're gonna put your name here, and then you're gonna give it to a friend, and they're gonna put their name here, and eventually this page will be full, and that'll become a story in itself, okay? So down the road, when these pages in the back of the books are full, I hope somebody will send me, email me a picture of that page, because that will make me <laughs> so happy. So here we are, it's launch day. The book is ready for the world. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I am Carmen Shank, reminding you that we can live tiny, embrace simplicity, and still eat really well. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it.